Hello friends, quick update today and when I'm done talking I'm going to share with you a short clip from a news outlet TRT World about blasphemy and this current sort of, I don't know what to call it, I want to laugh but it's, I guess it's a serious matter you guys, blasphemy of the prophet of Islam and this hoo-ha it's causing around the world. Some time ago, I believe nearly three years ago now, I was talking to you about this Islamophobia laws that Turkey, Malaysia and Pakistan were pushing at the United Nations. And we know now it has been accepted. The date March the 15th, International Day to Combat Islamophobia, has been signed right the un general assembly adopted by consensus on tuesday resolution this is back early march declaring march the 15th as international day to combat islamophobia the resolution was introduced by pakistan on behalf of the organization of islamic corporation yes You know what law, I think, or resolution is coming next, I believe, friends? They've got the Islamophobia one. I think the blasphemy laws next. If you look at the current news, blasphemy laws and profit. The UK cinema chain cancels screenings of a blasphemous film after protests. Did you hear about it? Film about Prophet Muhammad's daughter pulled from screens after protests. And I can't tell you, friends, amount of times I hear people who oppose my my views about the end times when I say Islam is the Antichrist beast entity, the Antichrist himself will come out from the Islamic world. I often hear people say he can't be Muslim because Muslims don't worship a man. They believe in one God. If you don't call this worship and idolizing of a man, what do you call it? How can there be blasphemy of a mere human being? Watch the behaviour of the followers of Islam or the prophet of Islam rather and it's very clear to see. It's him they idolise. They worship him. The blasphemy laws are to protect him, Muhammad. Saudi Arabia condemns that woman from India the BJP party spokesperson, her remarks against profit. It's all over the news, you guys. How can Muslims worship a man? They believe in one God. It's staring you in the face. Insulting Prophet Muhammad is straight out of the BJP playbook. Oh, we're not going to hear the end of this for some time. What is the definition of an idol, friends? <clears throat> an idol. Let's have a look. An image or representation of a god used as an object of worship. A person or thing that is greatly admired, loved or revered. So much so, some of these followers of Muhammad are willing to kill to defend his honour. What does it mean to worship? The feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity the worship of god to show reverence and adoration for a deity honor with religious rites muslims around the world condemn blasphemy of prophet it's only a matter of time now friends in order for the antichrist to be revered and for those followers of the beast to give him allegiance remember the people who follow the beast will worship the dragon they follow the beast and they take his mark willingly and they make this boastful declaration who can make war against the beast these are a people who will be willing to die for him and to kill for him and dare i say it the perfect system is out in the world and you're reading it now list of countries attacking india rises but their track record on religion
questionable. Blasphemy laws. Ulama strongly condemn blasphemous remarks against Holy Prophet by BJP leaders. Shan Shahid roasts Khans of Bollywood. <clears throat> the Khans of Bollywood, Shadok Khan, Imra Khan, and how many more Khans are there? Ahmed Khan, because they're considered Muslims, but they're Indians, why are they silent? Shan Shahid roasts Khans of Bollywood for their silence over blasphemy in India. So there is this worship of a man whom many, I mean many Muslims, consider if you were to critique him or just simply state the facts about him is tantamount to blasphemy against him so we see it we already have the system in place how a group of millions of people will be willing to worship a man die for him and kill for him to safeguard his honor etc etc i'll be back tomorrow with some more information <clears throat> I'm going to be delving further into the scriptures because I believe it's so important that we do focus on the scriptures so we understand better the times we're living in but friends I think it's staring us in the face already but there will be still people out there who will be denying the evidence I'm going to play this clip it's two minutes from TRT check this out friends the Muslim world is up in arms over the simple remarks from this woman in India. Even though she's deleted her post, the apologies have been sent, she's lost her job, but still it's not good enough. Hmm. They will worship him, adore him, give allegiance to the beast. And this is the same entity that wants to take over jerusalem yes you see how the pieces fit we don't have to force them in the text of the holy bible anyway i'll be back again soon please remember to like leave a comment and please share my videos i appreciate you several muslim countries have lashed out at india over derogatory remarks about prophet muhammad made by some members of the country's ruling party, Bharatiya Janata Party. The remarks by BJP spokespersons Nupur Sharma and Naveen Kumar Jindal have sparked massive outrage. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, UAE, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, Iran, Pakistan and Afghanistan were among the countries that condemned the remarks. India's ambassadors to Kuwait and Qatar claim that the comments did not reflect the position of the Indian government, but were the view of fringe elements. Turkey has called it an insult not only to Muslims in India, but also to Muslims all over the world. Social media hashtags calling for the boycott of Indian products were trending in several Arab countries. Stump stores in Kuwait also reportedly removed Indian products from their shelves. In recent years, India has strengthened economic ties with the Gulf Cooperation Council, which includes Kuwait, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Oman, and the UAE. Nearly 8.9 million Indians live and work in GCC countries and send home billions of dollars in remittances. Following the backlash, the BJP has distanced itself from the remarks. It is suspended Sharma and Ispal Jindal, both of whom later issued public apologies. The insulting remarks also led to unrest in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, with growing calls for Sharma's arrest. Critics say that anti-Muslim sentiment has surged in India since the right-wing BJP government came to power in 2014. Incidents of cow vigilantism and mob lynchings of mainly Muslims and Dalit Hindus have spiked since then. In 2020, Muslims in India were blamed for an outbreak of a COVID-19 cluster that led to hate crimes and ostracization of the community. Recently, there's been a rise in rhetoric against Muslims in India. Indian politician Tejasvi Surya of the BJP party reportedly equated India's era of Muslim rulers with the Holocaust. Meanwhile, there's also been a spike in unfounded claims by Hindu right-wing groups that several centuries-old mosques in India were built over ancient Hindu temples. 